fed up with something, or fed up with doing something. Unhappy about something that has been happening for a long time. They're building a new house on my street. Every day, they hammer and saw and drill. I'm fed up with all the noise. I don't like my job. I'm fed up with paperwork. I'm so fed up with this traffic every morning. It's impossible to get anywhere on time. Tell me about it. I'm fed up with being late to work because of the same thing. Ugh, and it's always the same spot that's backed up. I'm really fed up with this city's terrible planning. Yeah, something needs to change, or I'm going to be fed up with driving altogether. As long as. On the condition that. Providing that. We play football every Sunday morning, as long as it's not raining. Boss, I'd like to leave at 4 o'clock today. That's fine, as long as you finish the report first. Hey, are you coming to the party tonight? Yeah, I'll be there, as long as I finish my work on time. No worries, it doesn't start until 8. You'll make it, right? As long as I don't get distracted, I should be good. Good at something, or good at doing something. Able to do something well. My father is very good at golf, but my mother isn't. Could you give me a hand with this letter? I'm not very good at writing in English. Wow, you're really good at painting. Thanks. I've been practicing for a while. You're good at photography though. Your shots always look amazing. Appreciate it. I guess we both have our strengths. What else are you good at? Hmm, I'm pretty good at cooking. How about you? I'm good at playing guitar. Maybe we should have a creative night, art, music, and food. That sounds awesome. We'd totally rock that. So far, so good. Everything is fine now, but there may be problems later on. You fixed the printer again. How's it working? So far, so good. I hope it doesn't break again. How's your new job? I've only worked there for three days, but so far, so good. How's the project coming along? So far, so good. Just a few more tweaks left. Glad to hear it. Let me know if you need any help. Will do. Thanks. That sounds. Say this to give your opinion after reading or hearing something. We stayed in a five-star hotel right on the beach. That sounds beautiful. I'm going to climb up on the roof and fix the leak. That sounds dangerous. Hey, do you want to join us for a road trip this weekend? That sounds amazing. Where are you headed? We could try that new sushi place for dinner. That sounds perfect. I've been craving sushi all week. You're not allowed to do something. Doing something is not permitted. I read that you're not allowed to chew gum in Singapore. I can't work in the USA because I don't have a work permit. You're not allowed to work without a permit. Note. In spoken English here, you can mean everyone. You're not allowed to eat dessert before dinner. Why not? I'm an adult. Adults still need to follow the rules. Who made these rules anyway? I did, for your own good. 
despite something, or despite doing something. Not affected by something. The company did well this year, despite poor sales in March. He goes jogging every day, despite having a broken arm. Despite the rain, we still had a great time at the park. Yeah, and despite forgetting our picnic basket, we managed to grab snacks from that food truck. Exactly. Despite being unplanned, it turned out to be a perfect day. As a result. Consequently, as an effect. My brother left school when he was 14. As a result, he can't find a good job. It rained a lot last year. As a result, we sold a lot of umbrellas. I've been exercising every day for the past month. That's impressive. Have you noticed any changes? Yes. As a result, I have more energy and feel much stronger now. Do you know where Mr. Smith is? Not, do you know where is Mr. Smith? Do you know where Ohio is? I think it's near Pennsylvania. Terry, do you know where the July bank statement is? I have no idea. Hey, do you know where Sarah is? I need to ask her something. I think she's in the meeting room. Do you know where the projector is? I can't find it. Oh, it's in the storage closet. Thanks for the info. Sorry to interrupt. Say this when you want to talk to someone who is already speaking. Sorry to interrupt, but Mr. Marco wants to see you right now. Tuesday is a holiday, so... Sorry to interrupt, but Wednesday is a holiday, not Tuesday. Oh, yes, you're right. I was thinking we could go to that new restaurant tonight. Oh, yeah, I've heard great things about it. What time? Sorry to interrupt, but have either of you seen my keys? No, I haven't. Did you check the kitchen? Not yet. I'll look there, thanks. In good condition. In perfect condition. Not broken. Like new. My car is in perfect condition, because I take good care of it. Our house used to be in bad condition. We fixed everything. So, now it's in good condition. I'm thinking of buying a second-hand laptop. How's the one you're selling? It's in good condition. I've had it for a while, but it works perfectly fine. That sounds promising. Is the screen in perfect condition? Yes, the screen has no scratches at all. It's practically like new. He just stepped out. He went out for a short time. Could I speak to Eva? She just stepped out of the office. She'll be back soon. Fred's not in his office. Is he gone for the day? No, he just stepped out. Hey, is Sarah around? Oh, she just stepped out. She should be back in a few minutes. Oh, okay. I'll wait then. I'll put you through. I will connect you. Say this during a phone call. Could I speak to Mr. Lim? He's not here right now. I'll put you through to his assistant. I'd like to speak to the manager. One moment, please. I'll put you through. Good afternoon, Sandy Company. How can I help you? Hi, 
I'd like to speak with Mr. Smith, please. Of course, I'll put you through now. One moment, please. Thank you. There's been a delay. Say this when something is late. Has the package arrived yet? No, there's been a delay because of bad weather. There's been a delay in production. One of the machines broke down. Hey, have you heard anything about the project deadline? Yeah, I just got an update. There's been a delay. Really? How long are we talking? A couple of days, maybe more. They didn't give an exact time frame. For good. Forever, permanently. There were ants in my kitchen. But, after I used ant killer, they were gone for good. I've tried to quit smoking before, but this time I'm quitting for good. Are you really leaving the company? Yeah, I've decided to move on for good. Wow, so no coming back. Nope, it's time for a new chapter, for good this time. Well, I'll miss you around here, but I get it. Best of luck. That's too bad. When someone tells you bad news, say this to show that you care. I didn't get the job. That's too bad. But I'm sure you'll get one soon. Our computer system has been down for five days. That's too bad. Did you hear? The concert got cancelled. Oh no, I was really looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. That's too bad. I guess we'll have to make other plans. Yeah. Maybe we can catch a movie instead. What's this charge for? Ask this when you don't understand an amount on your bill or receipt. What's this charge for? That's the shipping charge. Excuse me. What's this charge for on my receipt? It's the tax. Excuse me. What's this charge for? Oh, that's for the extra sauce you requested. I didn't realize there was an additional fee for that. Yes, it's a small surcharge. Would you like me to remove it? No, that's fine. Just wanted to confirm. I heard it through the grapevine. Someone told me something as gossip or a rumor. Alex lost his job. Who told you that? I heard it through the grapevine. Are you sure the company is closing? No, I'm not sure. I heard it through the grapevine. Hey, did you hear about Jamie? No, what happened? I heard it through the grapevine that they're moving to New York. Really? Wow, I didn't expect that. Hear back from someone. Receive a reply from someone. I emailed Ted yesterday, and I hope to hear back from him soon. Did you get the job? No, I had an interview, but I never heard back from the company. Have you heard back from the hiring manager yet? Not yet. I sent them a follow-up email this morning, so hopefully, I'll hear back soon. I hope so. Waiting to hear back is always the hardest part. Really like. Really enjoy. Really want. We don't say. Very like. Very enjoy. Very want. Jane. I really enjoyed your presentation today. I really like my English class. I really want to improve my writing. I really like this new coffee shop. 
The atmosphere is so cozy. Yeah, I noticed that too. I really enjoy their cappuccinos, especially with that extra foam. Oh, I haven't tried that yet. Now I really want one. Maybe I'll order it next time. You should. I really think you'll love it. Better off doing something. Say this to show a better choice. Should we go now? No, there's too much traffic now. We're better off going later. The train takes three hours. The bus takes five hours. Then I'm better off taking the train. I've been thinking about staying up all night to finish this project. You're better off getting some sleep and finishing it in the morning. You think so? Yeah, you'll be more focused after some rest. 